I have a bit of a confession to make regarding my self-confessed geek status. I was never a big fan of military science fiction growing up. So never having been a fan of the subgenre, I was remiss in my geekdom by never reading Robert A. Heinlein's Starship Troopers. Well, that has finally changed. You sent them anyway? We couldn't afford to launch an operation if there wasn't one. You don't approve? Well, too bad. We're in this for the species, boys and girls. Hello, and welcome to Ramblings of a Distracted Mind. I'm Ryan LaFleur, and thank you for stopping by the site. Today, I'll be looking at the Hugo Award-winning 1959 classic military sci-fi novel, Starship Troopers. So, I was a huge fan of Star Trek, and still am but never a fan of the hard military science fictions. Not that I have anything in particular against it or military stories in general. I mean, Star Trek, inarguably set in a military situation, was, however, more about the science and the diplomacy of sci-fi than it was about the battles and tactics of Starfleet, especially the versions I grew up on of the show, like uh, the original series Next Generation and Voyager. Even the J.J. Abrams reboot stressed the humanitarian peacekeeping aspect of the Federation rather than its military side. You understand what the Federation is, don't you? It's important. It's a peacekeeping and humanitarian armada. We done? When Paul Verhoeven's version of the movie came out in 1997, I did see that. Unfortunately or not, that movie has little in common with the book. In my family, we jokingly refer to it as boobs and bugs, a term that actually gives you a pretty good idea of two of the main differences between the movie and the book. Although the book's main internal conflict is the war with a species of an intelligent insect-like creatures, the bugs, very little of the book deals with the battles with this enemy. As far as the females go, or the boobs of the story, there is an unsurprising lack of female characters. Although the uh, female characters in the novel get a bit more respect than in the movie. Moving out, there's been a distress call from General Owen on Planet B, so get your shit wired and report in 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Who's that with you? Florence, sir. Make it 20 minutes. The Mobile Infantry, or MI, as it is referred to, is an exclusively male domain. While women are not excluded from the story, their praises as better pilots than men is repeated throughout the book, they are represented as high-ranking members of the military, but relegated exclusively as officers of capital ships. The story and perspective of the book is obviously centered on male characters. Incidentally, I do recommend you see the movie version. If you haven't, it's a lot of fun in a very silly sort of way, sort of a satire of the book itself. Anyway, the actual main action of the story happens during the training of Johnny Rico, the main character. First, his early struggle to understand the philosophy of his culture in high school, then as his culture begins to redefine him during his boot camp and specialty school, and finally, his eventual understanding and acceptance of his culture during officer candidate school. It is in the various discussions in his classes and in formal training sessions that Heinlein lays out his own primary thesis on society. What's the moral difference, if any, between a civilian and a citizen. A citizen accepts personal responsibility for the safety of the body politic, defending it with his life. A civilian does not. The breakdown of the time spent training to action sequences in the book mirrors more of what you usually hear regarding actual combat and you know, hours of boring and repetitive training and waiting around with just moments of teeth clenching terror in actual combat. Having done military service myself and gone through boot and to an officer school, I can relate to some of the feelings expressed during a portion of the book. For example, the feelings of camaraderie developed with the people you serve with, especially those you've gone to war with, was quite familiar. Heinlein's concept expressed throughout the book that you need to be willing to look beyond yourself. You need to look to the greater good and be willing to make potentially the ultimate sacrifice to support that greater good and protect someone else's 
everyone else's rights is a noble and alluring message. However, I do find some flaws and disagree with a number of Heinlein's other assertions in his story. For example, his stance on public corporal punishment goes way too far. I personally am not against the death penalty in all cases. I do believe, however, that it should be used sparingly and with great care and exactitude. Additionally, public flogging and caning are barbaric, and we can, and we have, found better ways to deal with less severe infractions. Finally, I don't agree with Heinlein's concept of limiting, limiting full citizenship to only those that have served. Education and training in critical thinking are a much more substantial key to developing an informed citizenry than just military service. As Thomas Jefferson said, a well-informed electorate is a prerequisite for democracy. And although democracy needs to be vigorously defended, it should not only be led by those who serve. The people who argue against public funding of education, for whatever their reasoning, should take note. Also, while I've known some brilliant and compassionate service members, I've known some idiots as well. Additionally, I have witnessed those I once thought of as intelligent and reasoning allow themselves to fall victim to unreasoning hubris and distrust. And finally, had to sever our relationship. Well, I respect their service. Some of them are not the ones I would want making the rules. Starship Troopers varies widely from the film version you are probably familiar with, and it does have some flaws in its message. Overall, however, it is still a classic of the golden age of science fiction. It's well-written and it's fast-paced. A book worth reading with concepts which, especially today, should continue to be debated. Thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can always be informed when I post new content. Also, check out the links in the description to my other social media sites and a link to purchase Starship Troopers if, like I did, you feel the need to verify your geek stuff.